Oh, hi. You caught me waiting for my mom to arrive from the airport. So I decided to go hang out and book off. And if you don't know what a book off is, this is what it is. So pretty much what a book off is, is a, it's a Japanese thrift store just filled with general Japanese goods. Here we are in the DVD section. They do have a lot of non-Japanese stuff, but here is High School DXD. I'm gonna put this back on the shelf before we get flagged. Still in the DVD section, we find the anime legends, uh, The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. If you know me, I love me some Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. Can I get enough of this? And this actually has uh, the entire series plus some little extras. Let's crack it open all on four DVDs. Yeah, quite a bit. Here are the Blu-rays and the uh, Kimagure Orange Road. This is uh, one of my favorite 80s uh, anime series and mangas as well. And of course, k -On. Season 1 of k -On. I absolutely adore k -On. Over in the vinyl section, because they do have that as well. There's some... We saw Prince and... Um, this did catch my eye. Not the R. Kelly, but Michael Jackson's Off the Wall. I actually really, really like this album. And on top of that was Such Gold. Great pop punk. Wish I had the money. Over in the video game section, here are all of the loose carts. More of a retro video game kind of guy. And here we have a uh, Mario Paint, as well as NBA Jam back there. There's some more NES stuff, but golf, eh, not really worth the price tag of $10. Ghostbusters, awful game. Super Mario Brothers for $10. Uh, I'm good. So in Book Off, we have all the bunch of Japanese games, as well as a bunch of English games. Here's the Japanese section. And uh, here are actually some complete in-box games. Um, that one with the fish did catch my eye, but I, Romancing Saga was the one I grabbed for some reason. And here is, uh, I actually did play this game on its, uh, in my uh, ROM cart for my Super Nintendo. But uh, what I don't like is that the stickers are actually stuck on the box. Like they could have, I prefer if they wrapped the boxes in something before they put the sticker on. Like this Dragon Ball Z one, uh, I actually played this one too, this is a fighting game. But again, sticker on the box, which uh, is going to be a, it's going to hurt the box to take off. I actually have a, this Mario collection as well. And that is a way to play Super Famicom games on the Super Nintendo, but you could do that easily without purchasing something. There's some more loose carts. I am looking for Dragon Quest though. Speaking of JRPGs, here is Final Fantasy VII, the green label. Uh, so this one's $55 for the green label. But the one in the back is only $45, so I'm not sure what the $10 difference is. Over in the electronics, when my camera wants to focus, we have a lot of musical instruments. We have some turntables, guitars, keyboards. That drum pad did catch my eye. We also have uh, monitors, TVs. Here, uh, here we are again with the drum pad. Uh, I really would like an electric drum set. And a drum pad is halfway there, but here is a turntable. And this did catch my eye. This is actually a JVC Dual Cassette Player. For $60, that's a really, really nice price. I didn't take any footage of this because uh, I was too busy gawking at it. I love cassettes. I uh, have a cassette label of my own. And uh, what is interesting about this particular deck is that tape deck A can actually be dubbed to tape deck B. So there's no extra plugs or anything that needs to go into the device. You could just copy whatever is in A to whatever is in B. You could do it in real time or you could do it in 16, I believe it's 16 speed. I did not pick it up, but if uh, I ever do go back to book off and it's still there, it will definitely be mine. Now I really do feel like LGR right now. I found this keyboard. It's a square keyboard, it's Bluetooth, and it's it just intrigued me. It just looked really nice. And that's a vinyl that I'm going to pick up too, by the way. Uh, it doesn't feel too bad. I would like to pick it up. Here are the anime figures. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of figures. And behind me, in the glass case, are the more expensive figures. Also, a couple figures that are not in box, but pretty pricey. Yeah, just uh, looking at more of the figures. This did catch my eye right here. The Common Rider W. I gotta set my little vinyl down. I love Common Rider. I love W. But for that price, $60, that box was pretty beat up. So I decided against it. Not really interested in that loop on the third, but this did catch my eye here. This is a George W. Bush figure. 
uh, for that price, uh, for that meme, I'm not gonna pick it up. I, there's some uh, Love Life figures down there in the case, and some more figures in the case. Very nice. That one did catch my eye. That one looks really nice. And some more of like small figures and just like little trinkets and stuff. They put them in little bags and they hang them up. Here is a cud, little petite cud figure. Cud does seem to be a reoccurring character on uh, on this channel. Sorry, in my main channel. Here is a Maria figure. Yeah, remember that? Maria X Holic. A lot of these bags are little pins. Again, little trinkets, charms. And over the other side of that, we have the manga. Yeah, there is the Japanese side on the left. Then we got the English side on the right. And that is uh, one of my favorite manga series of all times, Eyes. If you haven't read this, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a uh, love drama, and I don't think I could actually show that. It's a drama, teenage drama. Super, super solid. Read it when I was in high school and it still resonates me to this day. I don't remember what volume I have. I think I have 14. Gintama, one of my favorite mangas of all time as well. The, one of the funniest, thought-provoking mangas there is. It currently is concluded, so if you need something to read, go ahead and check that one out. And here is Dr. Slump, Akira Toriyama, what he made before Dragon Ball. Uh, it's a gag manga. It's pretty funny. I like it. it has its charms. Now we're gonna go look over to the Japanese side over here. Here's Major, one of the longest running mangas of uh, all time. Uh, it's a baseball manga. It's been going on since like the 90s. It hits like over a thousand chapters now. Here's all the Shonen Jump stuff. So the way that these are organized is by publisher. So we got Shuisha with Shonen Jump. We got Shonen Magazine, Shonen Sunday. Then we got the Seinen stuff as well. Just looking around over here. And here is the Japanese versions of Eyes. And all of the manga is priced generally around six to seven dollars for the English side, and the Japanese stuff is generally like three to four dollars. Again, these are all secondhand, and here we have Nisekoi. You know what I think of Nisekoi? Absolutely love it. Oh, uh, over on the other side of the bookshelf, there is uh, some more Japanese manga and Japanese language books. Or after that, I went over next door. Saw this really cute sign to dump in. And I got some snacks. And I'm going to end this with uh, a little food review. Mm. And that's it. That's all you get. And yeah, I didn't really buy a lot because I kind of wasn't going there for the main purpose of purchasing something. But maybe in the future or maybe like in a future video, I will go in with like more of an intent to purchase some more stuff and yeah with that uh we'll sign off right there don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll see you all in the next one